here with Cora in the mezzanine of 91 Albert Street on September 20th, 2013. So Cora, how long have you been at Mondragon? Since February 2012, about a year and a half. Yeah. And how would you describe Mondragon's labor um, divisions? Well, as people may know, there's a lot of different things that we do at Mondragon. So we try and divide the work up into committees, um, committees that take, take care of the bookstore, the grocery store, the cafe, um, and also um, more of the like, business side of things. So um, marketing, um, finances, events, various, various different committee committee work that people um, commit to for a certain period of time and then um, ideally after they've done that for a while then everything is kind of switched and so people have an opportunity to do a variety of different work. And what would you describe as being your favorite committee work? Well, right now we just uh, created this new committee called, well, I guess it, it's a bit awkward to call it a committee because the title is Community Liaison, so it's the Community Liaison Committee. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's very new, and the reason why we created it was um, as part of this Indiegogo campaign that we're working on right now, we're really trying to um, engage the community in a new way. And that's something that I think Mondragon has always talked about is engaging the community, but um, that we want to put a lot of energy into it right now. And to continue that, we felt that it was necessary to have a specific committee that worked on um, engaging the community. Um, yeah. And uh, if there are community members that want to learn more about how they can get involved or want to learn more about Montreal, what should, uh, what do you have to tell them? Well, um, Mondragon is very exciting for everybody. Um, oh my god, I'm so distracted. <laughs> oh, hey! Sorry! I'm <laughs> 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 like, uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, the space is open to everybody. Um, so, the community, I, the community is anybody who is interested in Mondragon, anybody who cares about Mondragon. Um, so, even if you don't know very much or anything about Mondragon, you can identify yourself as part of the community and come into the uh, shop. Um, in terms of things like events, um, people often have great ideas of what kind of events they would like to see happen in Mondragon. And the thing is that we would like people to feel like they can host those events with, or within our space, they can organize those events. So, um, so ideas are really wonderful um, and follow through is also really wonderful, both within the collective and as a community. Um, one, we're wanting to make, help people to feel like they can use the space for, for their own community building and different events that they have coming on. Any sort of space usage teasers you'd like to leave them with? Oh, well, I mean, people are talking about open mics like every day these days. I feel like somebody's asking if there's an open mic and we have had open mics in the past and they've faded away, but um, let's get another one started. Um, another thing that I would like to mention is that in about a week and a half, we're having a community forum. So that's a time when we're going to invite anybody to come to this space. Again, I say community, but that means anybody who's interested. Um, and we're going to give a brief report about what we've been up to and what we're, how we're doing uh, as a business, as a collective, and invite people to give their uh, input and their feedback and also come up with ways that we can all work together to create something um, that will benefit everybody involved, like the collective members and the, and the people. And that's Monday, September 30th. 
Monday, September 30th at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. in the Mondragon space. In the Mondragon space, and there, there will be food by donation. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me, Cora. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me, too. Cool. Yeah.